Hi everyone, welcome back to Sandvik's World. If you're new to my platform, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, and comment. So today I'll be telling you like ways that you can pay off your tuition as an international student. Usually the tuition for international students is really huge. I remember a few months ago, someone was asking me um, if she wanted to get some information about the school I went when I moved from Nigeria as a student. Being an F1, that time my tuition for a year was about fifty thousand dollars. Now, unless you had a rich parents, rich uncle that is, you know, willing to sponsor you, then you don't have to worry. But if you do not have, do not fear. You have God, and also there are ways that you can pay off your tuitions. Um, it's gonna be stressful. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you right now. That is easy. The dollar doesn't fall from the tree like we thought. You know, every dollar you earn, you gotta work for it. But as an international student, there are some advantages that you can get. Advantages like, so these advantages will help you pay off your tuition. Um, one, you can apply for graduate assistance. When I moved and I was studying in my school, I went to University of Bridgeport in Connecticut. And when I first got in, I didn't know much. I didn't have much information on how to pay my tuition. And I was able to pay off my first semester. Remember that in a year, you have two semesters. If you're coming in for a master's program, as a STEM student, you have two years for that master's program, meaning you have four semesters, okay? Now, for each semester, for each semester, for each semester, you have to register for nine credit load course. So that is, we are doing three courses, but one course is three credit, three, three credit load. So you're having three courses that you're registering. So you can register for four courses depending. And then I think one is, um, one is you have to register for four courses, but one, I think, is elective. So it's about that, like one credit load or so. So one credit load is about a thousand and some change. So if you're doing nine credits load course per semester, you're apparently paying 9,000 and 9,000 and some change. So maybe it's, at the end of the day, you're paying 10,000 for that nine credit load. Again, that excluding your international student fee, excluding your insurance fee, health insurance fee, and some other fees that you have to pay, excluding your um, rent, because you have, to, you have to pay your rent, you have to live in a home, you have to stay in a place where you can live, excluding feeding. And all of those are included. So when you look at the money you should pay, maybe for, uh, and a semester maybe just be for three months or four months. If you look at the money that you are going to spend in within these four months, you should have a budget about twenty-five thousand dollars. If you don't want anything like graduate assistance, and if you're not getting any phone from, if you have phone coming from home, that's what I'm, I'm meaning to say. Now, if you are people like in our school that don't have the phone, how do you pay off tuition? If you get a graduate assistance rule. It means that some graduate assistant room may give you three credit load. Three credit load has automatically taken away three credit tuition out of your nine credit um, load courses that you should be taking. If you get six credits, and most graduate assistant low, they may give you three credits, six credits. Some will even give you nine credits. That way you're not paying tuition at all. So when I first got my, my first um, graduate assistant um, um, role was, I think, six credits. So when I got that six credits, I was only going to pay for three credit load for that second semester. And then my my year two, now my second year, because you have to two years. So at the my second year, I was able to get a nine credit and a nine credit. So I was only paying my international student fee and insurance fee, the general fee that I should pay. So this is one of the ways that you can pay. Secondly, before leaving, please learn hard work. Learn hard work because you're not allowed to work outside school, outside the school as an international student in the US. Now the UK has a better, uh, you have a better leverage if you're schooling in the UK because I believe that you have 20 hours to work outside the school premises and then in Canada you have work permit so you can work 40 hours. So look at the individual and countries, look at what they offer. If you're not buoyant enough to pay your tuition by yourself, please do not, you know, don't think that it's meant for the rich, no. Everyone can go to school, obtain a certificate even in Harvard if you're willing to put in the work. So learn the, the graduate assistant is one best way that you can pay off your tuition, just that you have to put in the work. I got a role with chemistry department because my first degree was in industrial chemistry. So I was able to teach undergraduate chemistry lab. I was teaching them their chemistry lab, marking their, marking their papers and also submitting with the, with the professor. I was had to send them my, um, their records to the professor. You have to be on your toes. You have to be on your toes. You have to be like on top of, you know, each course. You, reading, I was reading for my own personal, you know, my personal uh, classes making sure I'm on top of my classes because you have to also have a certain GPA to be um, offered any um, graduate assistant rule. You cannot be doing poorly as a student and then be teaching other, st other students, you know. So you have to also have high grade in your, in your courses that you're taking as a student and then reading to go teach the undergraduates their chemistry. If you're doing, I was teaching chemistry, then I also got a job with, as a graduate assistant with the 
um, visual, IT and visual. So I will go up to set on the set up the computer, connect it to. Connect the professor's laptop to the projector in the lecture rooms. In the, in the classes for the professor, because most of the sessions they are old. They don't know how to connect their laptop to the, the screen, how to, you can, you know, all, all those stuff. They don't know how to do it. So I have to learn it. I have to carry the instrument over there, connect it, make sure it's running the hearing, the professor, and then I can leave. And I'll be monitoring to go this month to again. So some of this works. They are not like so tedious with you, but the only one, tedious one actually is the, is the if you're a graduate assistant to maybe for chemistry, for physics, for all of those courses that in, needs you to truly read. You know, before you can go to impart knowledge to other students. So those are ways you can pay off your tuition. If you also have handwork, like you know how to play it, you know how to sew. This is other things that you can do by yourself. You know, because you're you're not permitted to work really. You know, to earn money, but you can. You know, within the Nigerian community, so you can make somebody say, and they can give you a gift of money. You know, we call it a gift of money because you are not legally allowed to work to earn. So they can, but you can take gifts. People can give you gifts for taking care of their kids. You know, you can do all of those things. On a table job is another thing that people do, which is not legal. I wouldn't advise you to do that, but survive and mode, whatever you can do to survive, please help yourself. Just take focus, you know. I see people who were orphaned that came in and they completed their actually what that matriculation gun and graduated. So you don't need a big uncle to go to international school. You can pay off your tuition and you can obtain your certificate in flying colours if you focus and have God by your side. Remember, with God you can do all things. All right, there. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, and comment. Love you to see you next time. Bye.